Leo Cullen, a seven-six win on the road. Your initial assessment, please. Um, that's a win away from home. I think that's that's it. Um, you know, traditionally very very tough place to come here, um, and the obviously lads are pretty frustrated inside with themselves. Um, it was great to get a win, as you said, but you know, it's particularly in the first half when we was decent numerical advantage. Um, you know, 15 against 13, and you know we're seven nil up, and you know, we really just need to put a bit more of a squeeze, be a bit more patient in terms of possession. Um, you know, but for fairness to Dragons, they, they they dug in really well, really well, and there were some big turnovers. Some of that is in our control. You know, some of that is good play by them. Um, so then obviously gets in, turns into a very, very tight contest, difficult conditions, um, crowd get into the game more and more. Um, and yeah, like I said, we're, we're, we've, we've come away with a win. So a um, bit frustrated. Um, a lot of guys had some opportunities there today. So you know, we know this is a very short block of games, five games. And there's a big break before the international period during November. So um, guys know it's important out there. So um, you know, we'll see what we do in terms of next week. But um, for us now, just trying to couple well. Get ready for Zebra um, next weekend. So back at the ODS, which will be fantastic, and hopefully you get decent uh, support there as well. Credit Dragons as well, though, Leo. I mean, if we saw glimpses of that performance building from last week, they were playing at home last week against the Ospreys. Played really well for 40, 50 minutes. A yellow card then probably left the Ospreys in, and the Ospreys kicked on. But we saw the Dragons performance. Uh, they really stepped it up again this week. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, we watched even then during pre-season as well. Dragons, um, the good win against Walsh from Walsh with uh, Bristol as well. At the start of the Premiership and good tight contest against Leicester. So, you know, we've seen the three games that we've been involved in. Um, and as you say, they were unlucky here last week against uh, Ospreys and, and their well coached team. Um, very, very aggressive in the contact area. You know, that, along with the conditions, there's always going to be a tough challenge over here. So, um, you know, one thing talking about, the next thing is actually going to end up performing. Um, and for us, you know, we're just a little bit off at certain stages during the game. So, um, yeah, it's good learning for a lot of our guys. Um, so as I said, we'll, we'll see what we do in terms of next week. But you know, it's trying to just get, make sure we get every, every single point possible in this block. So um, we're at nine points now, 15 more points to play for over the course of the next three weeks. And it's important we're battling out for every single point because you, know, you can see already in the table of the conferences like how tight it's going to be this season. So um, yeah, hugely exciting. Great to be back, obviously, with the crowd here. So as I said, um, it'd be great to be back at the RDS as well with the crowd. Uh, to finish on the positives, two wins from uh, from two. Rob Russell making his debut, James Ryan captaining the team for the first time, just for the Fleer 100 caps. And then lads coming back from long term injuries to either start or come off the bench like Dan Levy did. A lot of positives to bring into the Zebra week. Uh, no, definitely, yeah. Like in, in terms of building the depth of the group, I think it's important as well. So, the amazing story for Rob. Um, <clears throat> huge credit, I think, to Noel McNamara, Simon Broaden, uh, Peter Smith with the RFU. And, Terms of him coming into the academy because he's definitely going to be classified as a as a late starter, and even the Tony Smith um, in Trinity, who would have been pushing Rob's case, you know, as well. And um, so just important, you know, AAL started back this week. Um, we did a number of guys that were back out playing with clubs, um, but just how important the club scene is, and obviously with Rob with Trinity continuing to play over the last couple of seasons with them, and being a real standout performer. So. Um, it's a great story, I think it really is a great story and um, you know, it's great to see him get a shot today for the deserved. He was really excellent for us over the course of pre-season, even that pre-season game against Harlequins as well. Um, Josh with the cap, you know, so it was a good you know, match performance as well from him. Uh, James uh, as captain, you know, he did that job for for uh, Ireland during the summer series. Um, and Dan Levy, uh, Conor Bryan both coming back from long-term injuries. So yeah, there is positives within that. Um, and there's always going to be a bit of rustiness maybe with some of the combinations that we've had. Uh, but it's just about looking forward now, as I said, uh, these three games are hugely important for us now and the competition will be important. So lads know when they get get their shot, it is a shot, so they need to make sure they take it because there's going to be lots of big games later in the season and everyone wants to be playing in those games. So um, huge three weeks for us now. Thanks, Thanks.